The South African Police Service requires its applicants to meet a certain level of fitness before they can be enlisted into the organization. Wait for the beep. When the trainees arrive for training in the academy, they are divided into platoons and they are allocated into a place of stay called the bungalow. In the bungalow, they are allocated there across racial lines so that they are a diverse group, so that they can learn to live together harmoniously, have tolerance of other people's differences. So they are allocated to the bungalow so that they can live as a family until the, the end of the intake. As they are in the bungalow, they are entrusted with the responsibility of keeping the bungalow clean all the time and also making sure that even their self-upkeep is also well maintained. That includes shaving and also keeping themselves clean all the time. This is part of the discipline that we instill in each and every police official so that when that member is out of training as a fully-fledged police official, that member is a true dignified representative of the true values of the South African Police Service. Drill is an important aspect in our training curriculum as it teaches our trainees discipline, how to wear the uniform, marching in a coordinated and in unison. Drill is very important as it portrays the professionalism in our chosen career. Oh. Once they are enlisted, they are supposed to meet a certain level of basic fitness for them to be exposed to further fitness training. Beats up, beats up, ready, right, left, right, four. Once we are happy with their basic fitness, we then expose them to fitness activities like close quarter combat that uh, prepares them for self-defense as they continue to effect arrest and other functional duties. The South African Police Service requires its members to be physically fit in order to be able to execute their duty of chasing and arresting criminals. Our trainees now are going to demonstrate their ability in overcoming obstacles and also overcoming heights as they will be running through the obstacle course. In the South African Police Service, we use firearms as the tools of trade. We are issued with three different firearms, that is the 9mm pistol, the R5 and the shotgun. 
We have got two, two, two sections as we train our trainees in the use of firearms. Number one, we have got the theoretical aspects, wherein trainees are trained what the law requires for them to use the firearm, when and how to use it. And we have got the practical aspects. Now we are at the shooting range, where trainees will be demonstrating to us the different parts of the firearm and how to shoot accurately and also the safe directions so that there are no dangers or there are no casualties in the exercise. When the new recruits become enlisted in the South African Police Service as police trainees, they are subjected to theoretical learning which takes place in the classroom. As they are taught, they are trained in policing, law, and customer service center. As they continue with their, their learning, continuous assessment is done on them. They write assessments in order to ascertain where their learning has taken place and, and in order to prepare them for final competence, which will uh, ensure that they are ready to be functional police officials who are ready to serve our communities with pride and dignity. The South African Police Service takes special interest in the well-being of its members. As a result, in our academies, we've got gymnasiums that can be used by the trainees in their leisure time to keep fit and relax and make sure that their fitness level is kept up there. Go for you. Protect our community.